What am I even doing here? So apparently you can now use your iPad as a monitor and I have a couple of ideas that I want to try out in today's video. And of course it has to be gaming related. And while as you can see this works great with the PS5 when I'm at home, I wanted to try something a bit different because this is way too easy for me. So I took my iPad and the PS5 for some reason which is the biggest console that I have in my home, packed everything up including the accessories which I'll get to back into a minute and off to the Romanian mountains we go. Now, I asked one of my friends to borrow his car and the plan was to do everything in the trunk of that car. Everything was planned out. We'll do a couple of videos, we'll do some b-rolls and then we'll just play some 2 vs 2 games of FIFA or FC24 or whatever it's called these days, so what could possibly go wrong? Well, I'm no expert but I don't think you can power on the PS5 without a power cord. Yeah, that's right, I forgot that at home, and considering we're on the top of the mountains, I don't think we can find an electronic store anytime soon, and I'm sure my friends will not let me forget this anytime soon. So time for attempt number 2. Back home, I asked one of my other friends to borrow his car this time because it has a power outlet, and we went for a drive just a bit outside Bucharest because I wanted to do this in nature, just for the sake of it, I just didn't want to do this setup at home, and I wanted to try something different for this video. So once more, we started making this setup, and time to test this out, and everything was perfect, but I forgot the HDMI cable. But the good thing is that we are close to Bucharest and getting an HDMI cable should be pretty easy. And one hour later we finally had it, so it's time to redo the setup. But I wish that I at least tried the PS5 first before struggling getting an HDMI cable, because for some reason the car wasn't giving enough power for the PS5 and I don't really want to fry my console. So attempt number 2 was also a failure. But I didn't want to stop there, I really wanted to do this somewhere outside in the trunk of the car, so I wanted to give it one more shot and I took my car this time, drove to the countryside, borrowed my dad's generator and finally we have a working setup. I really hope this shot was worth it. How do I get out now? Okay. Now, as you can see, the setup is finally functional and uh, I'll quickly go through everything that you need. So we need the iPad and the PS5, of course, the power cord and the HDMI cable. This time I didn't forget them. A DualSense controller, of course. And there is a small catch. You need this tiny accessory, which is actually a video capture card, which is very cheap. I think I bought it for like $5, but this is essential for everything to work. So behind this idea is that with the latest iPad OS update, can finally plug in an external camera and use that one with your iPad, so you can repurpose this functionality and you can use the USB-C as a video out connector, so that's why you need a video capture card. So it shouldn't be a problem finding one, and everything else that you still need is just an app that allows you to do this. For this video I'm using an app called Orion, and while you can buy it for $25 I believe, and actually at the time that I'm shooting this video is around $7 I believe, but you don't have to pay extra because what I'm using over here is the free version because this already allows you to use this functionality. And actually, I really enjoy this CRT interface that this app is using. So all you have to do is open the app, plug in the video capture card, and that is it. Plug and play, everything works. The setup is finally functional. But to tell you the truth, it's actually freezing over here, so I don't want to spend too much time over here. Let's go ahead and move to our desk and we'll continue the video from there. Oh, God damn it, why did I do this? And by the way, you may also need a stand for your iPad because otherwise this can be a bit hard. And uh, for this setup, I'm actually using the Itaka Folio case. This has several angles so you can use the iPad in different forms. And it has been my go-to case for the iPad. Back at home, I'm still using some Pitaka accessories. I do have this magnetic stand over here. You do need this extra case from Pitaka as well, but it's magnetic. I always keep this on my desk. I, this is really handy. And it also has a wireless charger on the stand, so I can really recommend this. The only downside is that while it's amazing that you can wireless charge your iPad, you'll have to plug in this USB-C connector into your iPad. So whenever I need to plug in the video capture card, I have to remove this from the port every time, so it's not that convenient. But 
Then again, I really enjoy using the wireless functionality of this stand whenever I'm not using this video capture card. Anyway, this is not a sponsored video and I did get this from Petaka a while back, but I just wanted to show you what I use as a stand either if I'm at home or on the go. These are some amazing accessories that I can really recommend. Now, what do I think about this whole idea? Is it worth it? I really think so. And I know that you may already have a monitor at home or you can just buy a cheap external monitor to do this instead of using your iPad. And while that's technically true, I always take my iPad whenever I'm on the go, so it comes in handy to use this as an external display whenever I need to plug in one of my consoles. And one of the functionalities that I've been using a lot lately is using the iPad as an external monitor whenever I want to do this video editing. So I can use this as an external display for my MacBook. And I know there are some other options like sidecar as well, but it's great that I can simply plug in a cable and everything just works. So is this for everyone? Of course not. You may not find a need for it, but I know there are a couple of you out there that will find this functionality to be perfect for them. So you can try this out for yourself. As I said, if you already have the iPad, the only thing that you still need to buy is a cheap video capture card. So go ahead and try it for yourself and let me know what you think. And talking about some other devices that are not for everyone, you can watch my full review about the PlayStation Portal right over here. That's it for this video. This is the Tech Unravel and I'll catch you over there.